Cicero, the name not of a man, but of eloquence itself. Marcus Tullius Cicero was perhaps the very first classic trial lawyer. He was an outsider, not part of the patrician Roman ruling classes. He nonetheless enormously influenced the law and the politics of a waning Roman Republic through his writings, his teachings, his oration, and his active participation in the politics of the day. Now Cicero favoured political independence over support for the dictatorial forces of his time. And for this he paid dearly, murdered at the hands of the assassins of Mark Antony in 43 BC. His powers of persuasion were legendary. On one occasion a respected Roman knight by the name of Quintus Ligarius was being prosecuted by Caesar and faced the death penalty. Caesar, who was to be judge in the trial, arrived with, his, with Ligarius' death warrant already signed and sealed. And yet Cicero argued so passionately, so persuasively, so eloquently, that Caesar, against his will, acquitted Ligarius with a full pardon. The irony, of course, was that Ligarius, a few months later, conspired with Brutus in the assassination of Caesar. There are two portrayals of Cicero in history. One of them portrays him broad-featured and heavy-jowled, the other slim, piercing, fine-featured. And I have chosen the latter for this painting. A wiry Marcus Tullius Cicero. 